Hello guys, let us quickly go through for pile cap design with RCDC. Here on this screen we see a file uh, analysis file which is imported in the pile cap module for its design of pile cap and pile configuration uh, confirmation or concentration. We go to settings in general settings. We have a small table over here or a form over here wherein we have to input a few data that is required. We have permissible pile numbers availability up to 6 from 1 to 6. When we select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the list will be number of piles will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When we select only 3, 4, 5 and 6, the list over here will reduce up to 3, 4, 5 and 6. So depending upon the permissible pile that a user has to allow for the design, the list will be uh, displayed or considered. Then we have to give a pile number, say 750 is the pile diameter. Then I have the design options wherein I have to uh, give a factor for the capacity design. That is if I say 1.5 times the capacity should be considered for the capacity design. Then I have check for pile shear check. I can if required or if there is a requirement of considering the overburden pressure for pile design. We can consider this or else we can ignore it. We have provide top still option, provide phase reinforcement depending upon the user requirement and it also depends upon the design criteria or the design considerations. Then we have pile capacity reduction which can be zero also. Then we have pile overloading. This is a 10% and pile group overloading is also available which can be 10 or say 15. Let's keep both as 15 and 20. Then we want this is uh, applicable for the detailing purpose. So pile numbering uh, is required to be continuous or it has to be column wise. Say for, for a column C1 if the pile numbering is P1, P2, P3 and P4. For column C2 if the pile piles are 3 and we want to number it as again P1, P2, P3 then we can select column piles else it will be continuous pile numbering. Then these are the other design parameters that are to be set for the pile design like we have the concrete grade, steel grade, the bottom cover, the top or the side cover. These are the default values as per the code requirement or the code specification. One thing to be noted over here is the pile cap offset which is required and the pile spacing which is by default 2.5 percentage. So over here we accept these changes and uh, we have a pile capacity table over here wherein we have input the wherein we have to input the pile diameter and the corresponding compression capacity, tension capacity and the shear capacity for the required file, pile depending on the soil condition or the soil profile. Also, we have to select the basic load cases which I have already done and basic load combinations are already selected for the design purpose as well as the sizing purpose I say and just keep it on the auto run. So first time we run any file in pile cap, the pile configuration or the number of piles required for a column will be set. So this table will display the pile configuration for a column the corresponding pile cap and it will display the pile configuration. If we have an option of 500, 600, 650 everything then it will consider the required pile. Let us check that first. We will input the pile capacity for say 500 and 600 too. We will consider these two. So for 500 let it be 750 and this will be 75 and let this be 500 for 600 let it be 825 uh, let this be 80 and this be 600 and I say ok so when I run it for the first time over here so the required pile is considered so before auto designing it let us first go back to the general settings and uh, select the pile diameter. Let us first select it and check for 500 and say OK and redesign or auto design. So these are the number of piles. 
for 500, 600 and 750. So this is 3, 500 number of piles. This is 4, 500. This is 4, 500. So as per the required list, it has selected the number of piles. If it's 500 diameter, the number of piles is 3. For 600, it's 3. And for 750 also, it's 3. Here, if the requirement is 4, 500, then for 600 diameter, it will be 3, 600. And for 750 also, it will be 3, 750. So we can select any one of the both. But for now, the pile diameter selected over here is this, 500. Now for this pile cap, say C23, which is this one, the numbers is 6 and 500 was not fit for this uh, pile cap to be designed. Hence, it has considered 6 number of 600. So from the available list of pile diameters, it has considered the optimized or the most uh, smallest or the actual required pile diameter. Now, once again, when we auto design it, we will get the actual pile configuration, uh, sorry, actual design output for a pile cap. And uh, we can see over here that only two diameter of piles are used. That is 500 and 600. A pile mark with this type will be 500 dia pile. And a pile mark with this type will be a 600 dia pile. So this is the call, uh, pile cap layout. This is the design output for a pile cap. Now when we go to reports. Uh, let's just uh, first go through the pile layout. So this is the pile layout that is generated. This is the distance between the center of the column to this pile. This is the distance between the two vertical distance between two piles and the horizontal distance between two piles. In this way, the horizontal and the vertical distance between two piles is reflected in the pile layout. Next in reports, we have the text schedule, which is vertical and horizontal. Let us select a vertical type text schedule for the pile cap. So over here, we have, have the pile cap mark, the column mark, the piles that is required, the dimension of the pile cap, and the reinforcement for bottom and top, and the stirrups if required, and the side face reinforcement. So we have it for all the pile caps that are designed. Next, we have a detailed drawing. Let us see a detailed drawing for three piles along the for the plan section along L and at B. And just accept this and uh, check out the detailed drawing for the pile cap. So along with the pile layout, pile cap layout here is the actual pile cap layout. We have a plan for PC1. Then we have section 11 one along X and section 22 along Y. So along X, we have two number of piles, the column and the pile cap layout detail. And for section 2, 2, again, we have this pile and this pile, which is far seen. So we again have two piles, which can be seen in the section. Similarly, for four piles, the, sec the pile cap plan, the section along X and Y is generated. Next report we have is the design calculation report. Let's check a design calculation report for a triangular type of file cap and a square type of file cap. Over here, this is the regular nomenclature. This is the general design data. Then we have the number of piles, pile diameter. This is the pile cap offset as per the require as per the user input given to the software. Then this is the pile spacing. This is also an input to the software. This is the pile size, pile cap depth and pile cap weight, which is calculated. This is the maximum load on one pile calculation and load on the pile group. The maximum shear on pile group and check for the uplift load on pile, if any. Then we have the regular procedure and the calculation for a pile as well as a pile group and a pile cap this was for the triangular type pile cap next we have for a four pile four pile pile cap which is a square pile cap however it can also be a rectangular pile cap so quickly just when we go through we have the same checks and the same considerations of the pile design and the pile cap design for one for a single pile for a group of pile and for the entire pile cap 
Next in the report that we can see is pile capacity check and sizing, which is really interesting to see. Let's see PC1 and PC2 again. So this is the pile capacity check and sizing, wherein we have a tabular format. Let's extend this so that we can see it on the same screen. Uh, here we have a design table per, per table color, uh, sorry, pile, column C1. Wherein we have the analysis forces. This is a total force, maximum load on pile and the maximum load on group pile. And then we have the shear on the group of pile. We have no tension on any of the piles. The permissible shear capacity and the pile capacity. This is a increase factor and these are the other general design parameters that are considered and a pile or a group of pile is checked for. Then we can also generate a BBS. We'll just select two piles and say generate BBS for this. While the BBS is generated wow. So over here, we see the actual spacing and the present of presentation of the rebars in the pile cap. This is the bar mark and this is the bottom face reinforcement plan. We ha similarly, we have a top face reinforcement plan for PC1. This is the section 1 1 which is along X and both the bottom top bars, the side face reinforcement is shown over here. And we can see the BBS which is generated for the element PC1 that is a pile cap 1 and all the bar marks along with the radius of bend. The summary of the BBS is given over here for the bar diameter of 10 and 20, the total weight that is calculated and the total length that is calculated. So that's all about the pile cap design, the pile configuration that is considered and the other design parameters that are considered for the design of the same. So let's uh, hope that this video is really useful for uh, the users to start with the pile cap and get used to with the pile cap. Thanks guys.